<laughs> well, it was cloudy and overcast skies throughout much of the day, Bob, but winds kind of kept things chilly out there, didn't it? It was chilly and it's cold right now, it but, is. but the winds are much lighter, only three miles an hour, but it's down to 38 degrees. Some suburb, suburbs already in the mid 30s. There's a good chance we'll have frost or freezing conditions in the morning. Extremely cold temperatures for this time of year, about eight or 10 degrees below normal, actually, right now. Take a look at these. We're at 36 in Frederick. 38 here, 42. Now, close to the water body, it's a lot warmer, of course. Although, Ocean City Airport is still down to 38 degrees there. 37 Cambridge, a couple of places where we're higher. It all depends on the winds. The wind's dying down tonight. It's going to be quite chilly. 53, 38, that's what I'm having right now. It also happened this morning. 65, 42 is normal now. Record 91 in 2013, 22 degrees. In 1985, around the region, the winds, most places, almost dead calm. Wherever there's a breeze, that's going to keep temperatures up a little bit. It keeps a little bit of the air moving. Where there's really light winds and clear skies, which we have a lot of moonlight now, that's where it's going to get awfully chilly tonight. We do have temperatures expected to be around the low 30s, probably around the freezing mark, except by the water bodies or in downtown Baltimore. Anywhere near the bay will be several degrees warmer, so don't expect to see frost there. But we do have frost advisories. The entire region, except the extreme lower eastern shore, and by the bay there, Calvert County, St. Mary's County, Delaware, all of Jersey, Pennsylvania, all of much of Maryland, far western Maryland, they still have snow shower activities. So their growing season will continue to be, actually, it, <laughs> their growing season will not end until like the middle of May out there. For us, technically, we're supposed to have our growing season uh, beginning this week. So that's why we have frost advisory out for the reason. We have cloud cover that moved through the region. It's now moving away, but we have a warm front southwest. That's going to get us in some much milder air. There goes that warm air. They'll bring some clouds with it as well, particularly tomorrow night, early on Tuesday. Maybe a brief shower, but we'll stay in the warm air. This week, it looks like very, very mild temps, 5, 10 degrees or more above normal, so a very pleasantly mild week. There'll be a few showers maybe early Tuesday. Then we get into the really warm air. Temperatures all week long, way above normal, and there'll be some widely scattered showers maybe about the middle or the end of the week. Many clear tonight, average low of 35, light west winds 3 to 6. For the game tomorrow, temperatures back in the low 60s by 3 o'clock, probably around 62, 63 degrees. Awfully pleasant day for baseball. 64, the eventual high, 73 Tuesday, early morning shower. 76 on Wednesday, maybe a shower in the afternoon. Slight chance again on Thursday, but up to 78 degrees, 67 Friday. Nice day for baseball, by the way, and 66 Saturday and Sunday in the low 60s. Chance of a few more showers again Saturday and Sunday, but not looking for a lot of rain, not like we had this past week. Back to you.